Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all of you. Thank you very much for watching this video. This video is made for a subject code SHA 4542 Engineering Management. We are going to talk about the project case study of Telista International. Before I start, let me introduce my team member first. Me, myself, Samsina Binti Ismail. I am a technical specialist from Texas Instruments Rambrahat. Then I have Muhammad Hamdi as a technical expert at TNB, Ikwam Ashraf as a technical specialist from Sirim, and Muhammad Fahmi as a technical assistant from JKR. Here is the outline of this presentation. We are going to start with the introduction, then case study analysis, following with the benchmarking with similar Malaysia case, and lastly we will have a conclusion. Okay, let me start with the introduction first. So, um, basically this is started when Telestar International have been awarded uh, with a contract uh, with a value of 475,000 USD for developing and testing on two waste treatment plant. But the issue here is uh, originally, the bidding was at 847,000 USD, but because of the corporate manager is willing to spend at 400,000 USD, then they are deciding to um, proceed with this project. Three months later, the project manager notified, uh, noticed that um, there is an increasing of the cost and they will face a uh, overrun uh, cost if they continue to proceed with this project. Then um, with that situation, this project manager have decided to stop all the functional department uh, process and one of it was a structural analysis. So basically the conflict was there and this structure manager is uh, already highlight the concern of uh, not removing the structural analysis because this is very important for the project itself. But somehow this project manager have been decided uh, to still remove the structural analysis because they will not, um, they cannot bear the overrun cost for this project and they are using the other similar um, plan uh, structure test as a comparison and um, and but with that justification they are deciding to remove this structure analysis because of this um, judgment and instruction so basically one month later when the waste treatment plan was complete right this plan was explored um, and based on the post analysis made, this is because of um, the structure uh, deficiency itself. Okay, this is basically the introduction of this um, failure of Telista International project during that time. So I will pass to my team members for the next uh, case study analysis. Thank you. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera to everyone. My name is Iqam Ashraf bin Abdul Hir. I would like to present my part in this study about the analysis of case study in terms of cause of failure about Telesta International. So in this part, I would like to explain about three main points, which is one of it is no proper assessment made. So the Telesta management may want to get higher profit with lower budget in order to complete the two units of treatment plants. They fail to draft and construct good man hour standard based on their man hour projection. This shown us that they have lowered their budget in process to finish the project. In addition, the, confi the confidence that lower budget can make this project successful in cost and time manners bring them to the huge losses in future. Actually, they want a bid with $475,000 from their original price which is $847,000 with the terms and condition 
that any post overrun cost might be under in cure of Telestar if it happens. Their cost overrun is more than the original price after 3 months the project is running which is equal to $943,000. This shown that they have lost about $468,000 and the project is still not finished yet. My second point is about the competency issue. I would like to bring the issue to the Department of Energy and Resources that they should consider the history of the contract contractor. In this case, Telestar International in terms of their history of competency and experiences. So, Telestar International may have better part for past two years in experience of managing waste treatment project before the project is awarded. But it does not make them as a professional in waste treatment industry. Hence, it may affect the competency in managing waste treatment. Specialist based company could do it better. For example, the company that have background in handle huge waste treatment plants. My last point is poor decision making by the top management. The top management is not consider the input of all side of the department in order to control the budget before the decision is made. Manager is ego in this case project manager is ego with their unmatched decision in termination most of the department including structure and analysis department. He also consider that the all the department is not necessary in order to cover the overrun cost. So my next point is the negligence on safety issue related. The project manager is ego with their cost overrun issue rather than the safety of the worker and the project process and ignore when the head of structure and analysis department warn about the risk that they he may face if the work if the close if he close the work order. So it also state that the structure and analysis department is not necessary because the plan design that they FBA is similar to the one that they have tested before without any structure problems and be being detected. So that's all from my part. I would like to pass to Fami to present about his part. Have a good day. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Fami. I have divided this presentation into two parts. First, I'll be looking at benchmarking and analysis to similar measure case. And next, I will explain the critics and lesson learned. For the introduction, Stadium Sultan Nizam Zainal Abidin is located in Gombada, Kuala Tenggara. It was built in the year 2006 and finished in May 2008. It is multi-purpose stadium in Kuala Tenggara, with capacity up to 50,000 people constructed by South Korea Construction Company and designed by Malaysian architect. Cost for the constructing this stadium is 290 million ringgit. After one completion on 2 June 2009, an undesired event occurred which involved the roof of the stadium collapse. Almost 60% of the roof collapsed on the east wing of the stadium. Even though no one was injured, Total damage estimated was around 250 million ringgit. Mr. Fahad Ali Bull and Mr. Chaudhry Nar Ali mentioned on their journal report one of the main factors of the incident occurs due to the design error. This, there is not enough support used to handle the weight of the roof itself. Huge gap was made which 30 meters wide between last concrete stump and the concrete buttress. In addition to that, buckling happened to the inclined pole shows that the load exceeds the buckling capacity. Despite the design error, some defective value was found and still compound. It indicates poor workmanship from the contractor. Other factor that caused the incident is the collision where the strength of the material used must achieve the design requirement. It then passed the three laminary tests which caused the mechanical strength of the structure reduced. On the other hand, poor project management also contributed to this incident because of the lack of quality control and safety management. Then, a 
I will move on to critics and bystanders. From the case study, you can assume that there are two main, fact, main reasons for saving token reasons that are not identified due to the design error and poor management issue. Engineers and people who work in, the, in this field are expected to show the highest standard of integrity. Engineering has a vital impact on the quality of life for all people. Engineers should perform under a standard professional behavior that requires devotion to the principle of ethical conduct. As stated in high people code of ethics for engineers, item number one, to hold paramount the safety, health, and welfare of the public, to strive to comply with ethical design and sustainable development practices, to protect the privacy of others, and to disclosure to disclose from the factors that might endanger the public or the environment. Item number five also stated that it is important to seek, accept, and offer honest criticism of technical work to acknowledge and correct errors, to be honest and realistic in stating claims or estimates based on available data, and to credit properly the contribution of others. Besides that, IEM put of Ethics regulation on professional conduct asserted and engineers shall take all responsible steps to inform themselves, their clients and employers and the community of the social and environmental consequences of the action and the project in which they are involved. In terms of the poor management, an engineer has to be honest and realistic in stating claims or estimate based on available data. Besides that, an engineer needs to maintain and improve our technical competence and to under undertake technological tasks for others only if qualified by training or experience. For after full disclosure of pertinent limitation, despite distances, despite the differences on opinion among project team members, every aspect must be considered before making a decision. Most importantly, related to safety, health, and welfare of the public. That's me at the end of my presentation. So I will now hand over to Hamdi. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Hamdi bin Mahdi. Okay, before this, all of my team members have been giving their presentation on our project cases study in Telista International Project and also in Sultan Mizan Stadium Project in Malaysia. For this part, I want to make a conclusion from our cases study. In conclusion, every third, though uh, both of the cases are not similar in terms of design specification, but the root cause of the incident is the same, the management of engineers and designers. These issues can be avoided if the parties involved comply with the ethical guidelines and prioritize the public safety instead of the, of the individual importance. The parties involved should have been more responsible in making decisions and considered every aspect involved very seriously as it affected many lives. We also think that all parties involved should communicate well with each other and be honest about their opinions or professional judgment. As a project manager, we must be responsible and put aside our individual importance as every decision we make will cause huge consequences in the future. Well, that is all of my point conclusion. Hope you can learn something from our video. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.